give a warm welcome to Mr. Brian Fong, Chief Executive Officer, the Chinese Gold and Silver Exchange Society. Welcome, Mr. Brian Fong. And he will be giving us a uh, topic that may be interest to many of us. And the session is titled, A CGSE Perspective to Build a Belt and Road Physical Gold Corridor in Asia. Ladies and gentlemen, warm welcome for Mr. Brian Fong, please. Good afternoon. Uh, Dr. He Wu Cheng and myself are very honoured to be invited to speak about CGSE's innovative at this occasion to demonstrate the can-do efficient DNA of the Chinese gold and silver exchange. Dr. Cheng assigned me to deliver the presentation alone to make our presentation more efficient. And I hope that my talk will drill into your creative consciousness and strike gold. To begin with, I would like to share a video that will feature our world first scheme for the gold industry. CGSE QX project is a 
through operation between Hong Kong and mainland enterprises. It covers the full spectrum of services involving upstream, midstream, and downstream service providers of the coal industry. The project further enhances Hong Kong's position as an international hub for bullion businesses. The establishment of Shanghai Garden Warehouses creates a critical base for CGSE to connect domestic and overseas commodity business. Taking advantage of physical gold delivery within the bonded warehouse, together with bank settlement from Macau ICBC and HKOCBC, our members will be able to further enhance their physical gold trading and delivery quoted in Ribbon B on CGSE's trading platform and foster a cross-border settlement system for precious metals in Shanghai. CGSE has officially engaged V-Power Finance Security Hong Kong Limited to apply to the Shenzhen Customs for the bonded warehouse. The bonded warehouse will be managed by a team of professionals implementing a system which focuses on safety, professionalism, and precision. An efficient connection between the Bay Area with the rest of the world will be realized through the bonded warehouse services provided by Shanghai CGSE. The infrastructure will enhance both number of transactions and trading volume and elevates Bay Area's gold industry to the next level. Today, CGSE is going to launch Shenzhen Hong Kong Gold Connect. We have made full preparation to further promote the liquidity of gold trade and settlement between both sides of the border, thus reaching the synergy effect of Gold Connect so as to make great contribution to the integration of gold industries between Shenzhen and Hong Kong. Looking ahead, it will be CGSE's 108th year. CGSE will continue to work with countries along the Belt and Road to promote precious metals business and mutual accreditation, carry out horizontal integration by connecting different tradable gold products among different markets, and contribute to the globalization of Britain B. Thomas Edison, Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, Jack Ma, these are all great innovators who have changed the world. They have faith and courage to take their ideas and lead global innovation. Today, I'm going to take you on an exciting journey into a groundbreaking initiative of our industry, a game changer for the way we do business. Friends and colleagues, this initiative is the future Asian regional gold hub. The Gold Hub is a brand new business model for the trading gold and provides an entry point for the industry's penetration into the Asian market. So what exactly is the Hub? It is an initiative to gather all parties of the global bullion community, in other words, you, to expand the markets and create a win-win success for all sides through a new business model. The hub headquartered in China's Greater Bay Area, which includes Hong Kong, features a series of unique initiatives to nurture a new ecology of gold in Asia. To help participants achieve efficient cost, cost, uh, cutting costs and expand business. These initiatives include a gold standard, transaction banking, location swap, gold lending and financing, a clearing and settlement service, as well as a border warehouse in China. Using this fort and a central clearing house, this regional hub provides an efficient gold trading platform to connect the gold industry and other business to the world's biggest markets. Also, to help each of you who are present today tap new gold markets in countries along the Belt and Road. As the most established gold exchange in Asia, CGSE will lead the hub project with strong support from authorities from Hong Kong and Greater Bay Area. Our project has been included as one of the top 10 Shenzhen Hong Kong projects, signaling its significance in China. Here today, I would like to outline to you the background leading to the regional gold hub and our vision. The unique features of its new business model, our tool to kickstart the hub, which is the CNH Kilobar, and our plan to build a belt and road 
Gold Corridor. My wish is that by the end of today, you will be inspired by the innovative concept and be part of our hub. We aim to position the Greater Bay Area as a regional gold hub for bullion business, professional and retail investors to tap the opportunities brought by the ever-growing Chinese gold market, the Greater Bay Economic Cooperation Cycle, the Qinghai Free Trade Zone, and the Belt and Road Initiative. Looking at the big picture, we know that China's Belt and Road Initiative is sweeping across Asia. We foresee that it will unlock the potential of countries along the Belt and Road route and fuel their economies. With stronger economic growth, these nations will get richer and their people and governments will have bigger demand for gold. This new gold appetite plus the huge demand in China will signal a massive gold rush in the region. As such, we hope to create a well-regulated offshore RMB, which is the CNH denominated gold trading platform as a gateway to the rest of the world to tap the major gold markets in the region. Headquartered in the Greater Bay Area, our hub has two major bases, with a future delivery base in Tianhai Free Trade Zone and the trading platform in Hong Kong. Hong Kong is an ideal trading base because it is bounded by international law and is one of the major international arbitration center. What is more, it is close to markets and has the largest pool of offshore RMB and a local pool of talent, just to name a few. With the regional gold hub, we aim to bring supply, demand, and ancillary services under the same roof, thus creating value in efficiency, cost effectiveness, and business expansion for both suppliers and buyers. This platform will pull everyone, including gold refineries, gold traders and banks closer together. This will make the flow of gold efficient and reduce operational costs. Plus, traders can do more business with demand just next door. In short, this hub will bring you straight to the Asian markets. Now, a word about CGSE. As a gold exchange with over 100 years of history and high standards, CGSE is perfectly poised to lead the project. Part of our vision is to help global gold traders gain a foothold in the massive gold market in Greater Bay Area, which has started with jewelry producers and in other parts of Asia. We aim to help participants tap the growing markets in the Belt and Road countries under our project, the Belt and Road Gold Corridor, which I will return to this project shortly. In the long run, this hub will be will help the greater internationalization of RMB and gradually improve the economic landscape of the Greater Bay Area and across Asia. It is encouraging that the hub project has been strongly supported by the government of Hong Kong. So far, we have made good progress communicating with the Greater Bay Area authorities on putting the project into practice and gaining the support in launching initiatives to start the hub. Our milestones include, in 2011, the CGSE launched the world's first yuan-denominated kilobars, which will be a product traded in the hub. In 2015, we set up the Qinghai CGSE in the Qinghai Free Trade Zone to build a foundation for the hub. In 2016, the CGSE Qinghai project was named as one of the top 10 Shenzhen Hong Kong projects for the development of Qinghai. This signaled the government's determination to motivate a gold industry chain in China. In November last year, the chief executive of Hong Kong officiated our hub building initiative, the Shenzhen Hong Kong Gold Connect, to further promote the liquidity of gold trading and settlement between Hong Kong and China. The chief executive witnessed the launch of the first trade of our Qinghai gold. The product will act as a tool to raise the curtain on the new era of gold trading in Asia. The CNH kilo bars allow you to invest in offshore RMB and gold simultaneously. The CNH product plays an important role. Not only has it activated the operation of our hub, it will further strengthen the internationalization of RMB. 
Following, I will briefly show you the operation flow of the product. Our current CNH kilobar purchase will be settled in offshore renminbi, which is our CNH, and the delivery of kilobars taking place in CGSE's fault in Hong Kong. To trade on our platform, each buyer order has to be settled by full amount and sell order fully settled by delivery of physical gold. So if a buyer or seller doesn't have the full amount, then they can place an order, before they can place an order into our platform, they will need to get finance for the remaining amount from financial institutions through their brokers before the order will be further routed to our plenary members. Once the bank and the fault manager confirms with CGSE Clearing House that the assets from both sides are in place, the Clearing House will give instructions to both bank and vault to transfer the assets to the counterpart of the trade. Bank and vault transaction records will be provided to all parties involved. So let us look at what this regional Go Hub can do for us. The Hub provides a number of unique initiatives to attract Go business and other market players. First, we will launch a standard of, for Go bars traded within the Hub that meets international standards and is culturally more suited to the Asian countries. Our goal is to set stringent criteria to create a gold standard that is trusted across Asia for mutual accreditation. Second, location swap. Working with accredited vaults overseas, physical gold can be delivered to anywhere in the world once a transaction is made in our Hong Kong's trading platform. Third, we have the transaction banking. This aims to guarantee our customers' trust by providing clear bank records for transactions from Hong Kong and Macau's banks, increasing transparency and security for traders. Furthermore, our system requires full payment and delivery. In other words, back up by full amount of money and gold for each transaction. This solution, coupled with transaction banking, offers participants confidence and peace of mind. The fourth highlight is in gold financing. The hub will provide a financing platform which, with two streams of service to encourage trading, gold lending and financing. In cooperation with selected banks and financial institutions from Hong Kong and Macau and gold refineries, we will provide financing services allowing clients to borrow gold or money within our platform. Our fifth and the most exciting initiative is building a bonded warehouse in China. Now we are in the process of applying from the Chinese government to build a bonded warehouse in Qinghai Free Trade Zone in Xinjiang. It has a floor area of over 2,000 square meters and with a capacity to accommodate one, uh, 1,500 tons of gold and silver. Currently, our gold vault is in Hong Kong, with delivery taking place in the territory. Once we gain the approval for building the bonded warehouse, our delivery will be moved from Hong Kong to Qinghai. By then, we will copy the operation model of our current CNH kilobar and relaunch it as Qinghai Gold. The future bonded warehouse will reduce transportation costs and enable arbitrage and location swap of gold in different countries. The vault's proximity to other parts of China helps business provide efficient and cost-effective delivery of physical gold to their mainland China customers while the bonded nature helps them penetrate other markets in Asia. So, can you guess the bonded warehouse are the key attractions? The trading activities will fall under international law and arbitration, making it convenient for access and withdrawals of gold. Therefore, it will be attractive for countries and multinationals to keep their gold reserve in, the, in our bonded warehouse. As I've mentioned earlier, one of our major objectives is to build a Belt and Road Gold Corridor in Asia. With Greater Bay Area as a base, the corridor covers countries benefiting from China's Belt and Road Initiative 
forming an integrated network. Demand for gold will increase as China pushes its Belt and Road Initiative to develop countries along the route. As these countries become affluent, they will need to buy gold for gold reserve to back their currencies and economies. Many of these countries are old civilizations with a passion for gold. And as I said earlier, this gold can be traded freely on our platform and stored in our bonded warehouse. Our progress in building the Asian gold hub is gaining pace. CGSE is now in talks with countries along the Belt and Road to establish the gold corridor. We hope that with the corridor project in place, we can boost demand and benefit the global bullion trade. So, in conclusion, what do you know about the regional gold hub? You know that it will offer a range of groundbreaking services, that it will be based in the Greater Bay Area, feature a bonded warehouse in the Qinghai Free Trade Zone, the transactions will be cleared through our exchange, and it is an offshore renminbi gold product. And that it will benefit the global gold industry, enriching the economic landscape for all parties across the region. Lastly, I explain the opportunities to be brought by our corridor project and our plan to tap this huge market. I hope this presentation inspires you to join forces with us to create a thriving future for your business and for the industry. Friends and colleagues, we, th we can take you to the Asia market to embrace rising opportunities. I can assure you that the business will come nonstop. The pie is big and there is a slice for everyone. The time has come to share it. With that note, I end my presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you.